We are taking over one of the biggest programming channels on YouTube, DevTips. So this little YouTube business of ours is now multi-channel. This Okay. How does a fan feel about this? How do I feel about this, to be honest? <laughs> and the only reason why I'm sharing uh, this video and I'm talking about this, this new video that uh, Fun Fun Function released and Dev Tips also did like a, how you call it, it's like a, 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 a interview on them and I guess like it's like an introduction on why, you know, he's letting them take over the channel. And I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. Personally, I don't think it's a good fit. Um, I like Fun Fun Function for what he does, right? It's a more technical channel. Uh, it goes more into details as far as like programming. But this is not taking anything away from him and, you know, and everything that he's done. But. This a little sauce, this a little flavor that, that Travis had. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I feel like we need some type of explanation <laughs> from Travis. Like, what happened in his life? Like, what was it? You know what I mean? Like, uh, from the whole situation where he was talking about, like, oh, man, that he's going through stuff when it comes to gaming, like, gaming addiction. Like, I just, I, I, I don't understand it. As a YouTuber who has a side business, who has multiple clients, who also has a wife, who also has a kid, has another kid on the way, I don't understand how you build something and then after you do all the work that you've done over the years and, and people came in and, and subscribed to you not really to anybody else or you know like YouTube is very Mm, how you call this? YouTube is called YouTube. You get what I'm saying? Like YouTube. So pretty much, it's like right now, if I have my channel, this is CodingFace.com. And the next thing that you know is you come here and then you see Aaron and Beta on my channel. People is going to be like, yo, what the hell is going on? Why is Aaron and Beta in Coding Face's channel? And then three, four months later, I come in, I do an interview on them. And, and then it's like, hey guys, Aaron and Beta is taking over Coding Face. People's gonna be like, wait, 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 hold on. We didn't subscribe to Aaron and Beta. And Aaron, I love you, you know what I mean? But I'm bringing you a, as an example because we're totally different. Like, you know, our channels are completely different, right? We have different styles, different cadences, you know? And, and that's how I feel about this whole uh, situation with Fun Fun Function taking over dev tips and the reason why I, I feel a certain way about it is because I have dev, dev tips is like I hold it to such a high standard that the only way for somebody to take over uh, the channel has to have a similar personality has to have a uh, cool I don't know like, like make the 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 programming videos fun and and just like I don't know maybe I think the only person that could really take over uh, Dev Tips channel is maybe Mackenzie Child. That's the only person that I've seen that could I could say like they're very close to to each other. Um, fun Fun Function is totally different. His even when he does his like his small comedy things, it's completely different than what Dev Tips does. Even the the React videos, the React series that him and his other buddy were are, are starting to do on the channel it just doesn't feel right you get what I'm saying like I don't know am I the only one who notices this and this is not to talk not, this is not talking bad about fun fun function he's like the most one of the most technical guys out here and like one of the most experienced developers that I take my hat off for that dude I do he knows way more than me you get what I'm saying like he's an OG you know what I mean? Like he worked at Spotify, he worked at a lot of companies, and not only that, on Quora, he's like the OG, triple OG. You get what I'm saying? Like he's like one of the big boys, right? But I find that in YouTube, there's 
a, a, a first word in two, right? It's the you and then the two. So it's like, that's not you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I ain't subscribed to, to Death Tips. You know what I mean? Like, I, I subscribe to Death Tips. I ain't subscribed to Fun Fun Function. And I don't think, like, uh, the personality is going to match on the channel. The type of way how they do videos is going to match to the quality and the style of Death Tips. I would really love to hear from, from Travis, like, what happened? You get what I'm saying? Like, did he feel like he had a lot of pressure on him? Like, man, I, I can't do this. Like, oh man, I'm working at Google, I'm working at this, I'm, 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 I'm gaming too much. Like, leave the mouse down for a second. <laughs> and like, talk to the people, because I feel like none of us have gotten a, a, a real video from Travis really explaining why he just left YouTube. It's like the new Boston, right? The new Boston left, right? The new Boston is the OG Triple OG. Before there was Traversing Media, there was the new Boston. Okay? He put in the work. You know, uh, Traversing Media took the torch. He's gunning. You know, I wouldn't be surprised Traversing Media gets to 2 million subscribers by the end of the year. Right? Because he's that good, right? But I will feel weird if I go to Traversing Media and I see simple programmer <laughs> doing tutorials on traversing media. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just not, it, it, it's not what people signed up for. It's not really what the channel, like subscribers really signed up for. And I understand business wise is good, but personally, if I would have been Travis, I would have just let the channel go, uh, you know, on a high horse. You know, leave it alone. Like, you don't have to continue it. Yes, you accumulated 200,000 subscribers. Yes, you created an amazing uh, community. But, at the same time, like, what happens if things don't work out? You get what I'm saying? Like, you just don't give your channel away. I've actually sold a channel before. That was a business move. That was a, a business move where I got it to a certain point and sold it. All right? But, I don't think this was a business move. I think this was more like, hey man, I'm not doing videos on, on this thing for like six, seven months. And because I'm not doing videos, somebody could take over it. And you know what? This guy is super technical with it. He knows his thing. Let me give it to Fun Fun Function. But I just don't know, man. And I don't know. That's just me. I, I want you guys to comment here and let me know what you guys think about this how you feel about that I mean would you like if one day I say hey man uh, I'm tired of doing YouTube videos and I don't want to do this no more or would you want me to give my channel away to somebody else Would you want me to say hey Aaron and beta take you take over my channel Chris Sean take over my channel uh, uh, clever programmer take over my channel you know what I'm saying simple programmer take over my channel I just don't know if if that's something that I would do. You get what I'm saying? So I'm just wondering, how do people feel about this? You know, because I'm an OG YouTuber when it comes to this, right? I've been in YouTube for a long time. I've been here since 2007. Uh, I've gone through different genres, this different uh, communities in YouTube. And this is one of the first times that I've seen something like this done. And especially when it's Taller, you know, polar opposites, you know, like totally different type of peoples. Like if I come in here and I give my channel to somebody that's similar to my content and my work, then it makes sense. But Fun Fun Function, his channel, his style, his his uh, cadences, his, his uh, small little comedy things, like they're totally opposite from what Def Tips did on that channel. So I'm wondering, how do you guys feel? This is how I feel about it. As a subscriber that's been here from, I, I was on Dev Tips when Dev Tips had literally 57 people. 57 people. You get what I'm saying? Like I was there for a long time. And it's the same thing as, uh, what's this guy's name? Learn Code Academy. You know, I was there for a long time. You know what I mean? So. 
even him, he actually, he hasn't really dropped videos like that anymore. He dropped like one video the other day about mechanical keyboards and stuff like that. But I don't see him with the passion no more. But I just don't think he's going to give it away to somebody else. So I don't know. I, I would really like to know what you guys think. And I would really like to know uh, what does, um, what happened to Travis? Like, my life is busy. Like, I can't, just working at Google, traveling and doing this, I don't see that you you don't have an hour, an hour out of every two weeks to drop one video or even a video a month. Like, I, I just don't, I don't, I can't comprehend it. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's not that difficult. But I wonder what happened and I wonder what you guys think about uh, Fun Fun Function taking over Dev Tips. A channel that's completely different than what he does. So let me know what you think. Bye.